we kick off the show today in beautiful Coffs Harbour in New South Wales. Here is a beach house of the future. It's very stylish, but also very relaxed. We meet the owners who are the builders. So this is your house. You guys designed it and built it. Mm-hmm. You guys are builders. Yes. Mm-hmm. And, um, and you kind of did the interior design, didn't you? The two of us work on all elements of the design. Isn't and that great? Absolutely. Because yeah. 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 I mean, sometimes you might find someone sort of stronger in one area and, and mm-hmm. in the other, but you guys want to say in everything. Yeah, absolutely. Don't you yeah. fight about everything? Sometimes, yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> Yeah, there's lots of uh, disagreeing, but um, but you know, we, I think we balance each other out. So, well, tell us the, 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 what what the dream was here. What was the brief, and what, what did you want to achieve? It was supposed to pretty much tick all the boxes: outdoor living, um, the forever home. We knew we wanted to live in this area, and we stumbled across the perfect block really quickly in yeah. our search. And um, we always really wanted to work from home as well, so we've got the home office here. The floor plan here works so well. I love that um, the pool has become your water feature and um, and the view. Yeah, yeah, you can see it from every area of the, the entire house. It's definitely a feature. And um, even if you're not looking at it, you might get the reflections on walls and things like that at different times of the day, yeah. which is yeah. really beautiful. It's like a living artwork. Yeah, it really is. Mm. Now, talking about artwork, you do a bit yourself, don't you? Like, I mean, as far, yep. as, well, as, far as the cushions, the I mean, just walk us through what you've done here. Um, I've, I have had a bit of fun playing with some cushions, doing some shibori dyeing and things like that. And I do paint and um, sculpt and things like that as well. Yeah. But um, of late, not as much as I'd like to. So. Well, I guess the house has become your, your creation. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> and because we get to do that for clients as well, we get to continue oh, okay. to be creative in other elements yeah. of my life. When we were starting this project, we made a decision to go and import some stuff from Indonesia. Okay. Um, the starting point mm. was the pool tiles. They're like a rum bluestone type thing, aren't they? They're called a su- sukabumi, um, yeah, natural stone from, comes out of Java. Wow. Um, uh, you know, back in the day, you know, I was back, a, back and forth over Bali surfing a lot. Mm. I was, I was, um, I saw these pools and I was like, I've got to have one of them. And uh, the price, I suppose, was that was the selling point because um, we, we sourced them here in Australia. It was just ridiculous for the price of them. So to buy them over there, um, pay for all the shipping. So we bought all our furniture with it. Oh, because you've, well. you've, you've got to bring a container anyway. Yeah. Why not fill it up? We filled yeah. the whole container. Yeah, we brought over all sorts of things. The, the stone on the exterior of the building. Nice. As well as um, copper pendants in the kitchen. Oh, and, they're from Indonesia. Yep. Well, well did, did it save you money doing it that way? I think so, yeah. yeah. Oh, actually, one one way I think is good to look at it is that um, we were able to go the extra mile. Um, okay. It whereas gets okay. sourcing here, we might not have been able to go the extra mile. Yeah. So yeah. Well, they were all embellishments that we yeah. may not have otherwise had. The products we use in this house is the Eco Group's uh, 300 mil smooth. Um, so Nathan's bought it as a prime product, and then you put two coats of, um, of acrylic paint over the top of it, and you can see the finished product. It's extremely smooth and durable, and lightweight and easy to use. Well, Timber's got a whole heap of sustainable environmental uh, credentials behind it. We've got a better than zero um, footprint from a manufacturing process. 100% sustainable, 97% Australian hardwood, 3% natural wax. We remove all the silica starches, formaldehydes and resins from the product, so there's none of that that, um, that is included in the product, which really makes it truly sustainable. It is Australian success story. Um, cladding can seem quite boring to architects, residential builders, construction companies and home renovators. That's until they're introduced to the WeatherTech's sustainable timber cladding range of products. Um, we're able to provide a whole heap of different architectural panels, uh, sheets, weatherboards to the, uh, to the marketplace, which can give a truly different and unique uh, finish on the house. So along with our success within Australia, obviously um, Australian owned and operated since 1939, the product is now globally unique. So we're exporting now into France and Holland, we have done for a number of years now, New Caledonia, Vanuatu, the Caribbean, and we're starting now to enter into the China market, which is really exciting for us. Okay, so people who are watching, I guess what I know is they want one, what's it going to cost? So to build this house, including the pool, on their land, what, what sort of numbers are we talking? Uh, probably, uh, I'd say somewhere between 800 and a million. Fantastic, yeah. that's great. Well, you guys have done a wonderful job here. It really is just such a wonderful story about your lives. So thank you so much for allowing us to come and have a look. Thank you. Thanks, Nathan. Cheers, mate. Thanks. Thanks.